Hello, the aim of this video is to present the new functionalities regarding the clinical documents for the COVID-19 virus that's nowadays hitting the world. So first of all, we should go to configuration, to department Exp examination administration, and we've created a specific COVID-19 um, department where we have uh, attached the or assign the um, clinical documents uh, developed specifically for this crisis. So once these um, documents are uh, assigned to our department, we just have to look for a patient, go to their health record, and I'll open a, an encounter using these fast accesses. And I've also configured a fast access to the triage, the consultation, and the uh, follow-up the clinical documents. A other way of accessing is like going here, other departments and their examinations, and if we look for our COVID-19 department, we can find also the, the documents there. Let's go with the trias first. So we can see that here in red, in red there are some recommendations or actions that should be taken. So the form is, div is divided in three parts, the um, vital signs, the clinical signs and symptoms, and the pre-existing conditions, so pre-pathologies. Uh, we can see that our patient is a woman of 77 years old, so automatically this sign or symptom is uh, marked. We cannot do anything there. Um, we can see also that there's this fever, in cases that we cannot uh, measure the temperature, we can just only click that the patient has fever. But if we also put here temperature 39 degrees, we, the, this uh, field is automatically marked. Another signs we can mark are the cough. And so while we are uh, marking different signs or symptoms, different advices or recommendations are popping up. So when we were only clicking for fever and above a 70 years old, there's like, it's not necessary to perform a test because also the number of tests available is limited. So we have to only perform tests on people that really need it. And the advice is like to treat in quarantine at home for for 24 hours, I mean, constantly keep the patient at home in quarantine until he is, stays 24 hours without symptoms. These um, advices are uh, come from the advices by the uh, uh, World Health Organization, and also if it's, uh, from its country specifically. Uh, if we click on cough, for example, we can say that this patient might be a, a coronavirus uh, patient, so we should perform a test, but still he can stay in, in quarantine at home. But if we indicate that he has severe respiratory complaints, the, the algorithm recommends us to hospitalize the patient. As I said before, we can also uh, check some pre-existing conditions as a that's tuberculosis, immunodeficiency, liver disease, uh, whether or not he has cancer, diabetes. It's not necessary to fill in all the fields of the form, but it's better to fill as much data as we can. Once we have it done, we save it and we can always click it again to go back and consult previous information. The next form would be the consultation. So even though our patient patient doesn't stay at the hospital, we can perform a consultation anyway. So again, the vital signs are here, but we don't have the recommendations anymore, and we have a wider spectrums of a uh, spectrum of signs and symptoms, plus the epidemiological data, uh, possible animals contacts, 
contacts, contacts and pre-existing conditions. Um, all this data is um, here to be able to analyze the spreading, the spreading of the virus afterwards and has as much information about the, how the virus spreads and uh, goes from one patient to another or from also from animals. So this is another form that we can fill in. So whatever, we save it. And the latest is the follow-up of the patient. And again, we have the vital signs and a few signs and symptoms. If the patient stays more uh, 24 hours without any of these signs, that means that is uh, healthy again, so we can uh, take him back home, like the patient can leave the hospital. And otherwise we can still click on the several signs that he presents. So afterwards we save again, and that could be all regarding the, the new documents. One more thing is that will come up in the following days is like uh, we are going to implement an automatic um, detection of like no seeing some symptoms for 24 hours. So if I the doctor fills in this uh, document and the day after he fills in he fills it in again and everything is no and in the previous consultation it was also everything no the program will, will automatically de detect that the patient is uh, healthy and he can go back to his home. So good luck and see you in next videos.